So how many of you have been to the Grand Canyon or have at least heard of it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm coming from, um, so the Grand Canyon State is Arizona. I'm coming from the capital, which is Phoenix. Um, so I'm the director, of, my name is Ruth, and I'm the director of trade and investment at the Greater Phoenix Economic Council. So we're the regional economic development organization, so similar to our counterparts from South Carolina. Our primary focus is to attract quality business to the region, um, grow jobs and investment for our citizens, and also to uh, advocate for the competitiveness of the region. So. My specific role is um, I'm working on an international strategy to do both trade promotion and to support um, investment, um, foreign direct investment into our region. So as an organization, um, we are a private public entity, so we function as a nonprofit. But the important thing there is that we represent all 22 different cities that make up the greater Phoenix region. And so that's about 35% of our funding, and then the rest of the funding actually comes from the private sector. So we have over 160 companies that invest in our organization, and that gives us a really good insight into the business community, and it helps us to be better um, stewards of that region as well. So I don't know where the clicker is. Oh, okay. <laughs> So just a little bit about our region. So we are um, about 75% of this uh, state's economic activity is in Greater Phoenix. Um, and we're known, our legacy industries are aerospace and defense and semiconductors. We have a big presence. Intel has 11,000 employees there. Um, we have companies like Honeywell and Boeing. Um, but um, we've seen a huge evolution in technology and innovation. We're in, right next to the state of California. Um, and so a lot of companies that are at the point where they want to scale and they're coming from the Bay Area, um, they, they really see us as that alternative, that place to go. Um, and in terms of some of the emerging tech um, sectors that we're seeing most activity in, um, I put a picture of Waymo's, um, we, uh, which is part of Google. Um, their test bed's actually in Chandler, Arizona, um, which is part of our region. Um, so you can actually go in an autonomous vehicle. You're, they're starting this pilot already um, with just normal citizens. Um, we also have a lot going on in fin fintech, so I know that's a big um, focus for a lot of you here. Um, we're actually the first state in the country to uh, establish what's called the regulatory sandbox, so essentially allows innovative companies to test their products and services it, as part of this program for up to two years for up to 10,000 consumers. And that's really a huge cost savings, um, and it really allows them to make sure that, to validate that product um, in the U.S. Okay, I have no time left. But <laughs> I'm really looking forward to discussing way more of this with all of you. Um, no, show the, the territory of okay. excellence, yes. This is very important. Yeah, so, um, 10 seconds, yes. So we already talked about um, health science, so life sciences in general is also really important. We have Banner Health as 27,000 employees there, so um, we have a lot going on in wearable um, technology and also, um, and because of that industry legacy with semiconductors, um, but also with neurosciences, so that's why I was asking about um, Quebec and all the activity there. Um, smart cities, so we did just launch our smart region, um, so 17 cities as part of the 22 are actually investing in this consortium concept. Um, the idea is to address specific um, challenges that then the private sector can help us um, to uh, solve. So that is in an area where your companies could you know, come and, and, and help us essentially work with the cities to bring mobility solutions. and.